the way. I really believe we can take Sammy all the way. He got the hunger, the determination, the desire, the will to just persevere. Um, the fight before this, he got knocked down the first round. He came back up three rounds later, and man, he gave that guy such a beating, man. The guy was comatose. Mike, if I told you 10, 15 years ago when you were still an active fighter that one day you'd be a promoter, what would you have said to me? Never in a million years. Never in a million years. I guess things happen for a reason, and I'm, I'm just very grateful. That's all I'm trying to convey is gratitude that I'm able to be involved in this situation, able to help other young fighters like Sammy and um, make sure they don't become abused like I did. All right, you ready for some quick questions, quick answers? All right. Let's start with, if you could have fought any fighter in your life, any weight, any era, who would you have picked that you would have liked to fight the most? Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I love it. Why? Huh? You want to knock him out? Well, I would have loved him before, and I wish he was my weight. <laughs> all right, interesting answer. Your favorite fighter of all time? Roberto Duran. Always liked him. You got to know him pretty well. Yeah, Roberto right? Duran. All right. Rate yourself. I know this is a tough question for you because you're very humble. Rate yourself among the all-time heavyweights. I don't know. All I know is Ali's the greatest, and that's all I know. Anything after that doesn't really even matter. So Ali against Tyson, both of you at your best, you're going to give him the edge? No one can beat Ali. No one. All right, how about hardest you ever hit anybody? I don't know. Then it, I would have to go around and ask everybody that I hit. You know, I, can, <laughs> I can't tell. Nothing felt harder than the others? No. What about the hardest anybody ever hit you? Wow. Um, Holyfield hits hard. Lennox hits hard. Ray the Ruddick hits hard, man. There's been a lot of hard guys. Yeah, they've been hitting hard. Interesting question. The best friend you ever had who was a boxer? Maybe Mark Breland. And let me say, maybe. Jeff Fennick, too? Jeff Fennick. Um, yeah, yeah. Me, Jeff, Mark, yeah. Okay. Um, favorite athlete outside of boxing? My favorite athlete outside of boxing? Wow, that's quite a few of them. Give me a couple. I like, um, wow. The Serena, um, Serena Williams and her sister. Man, I like Mary Decker when she was running. Man, I like a Maradona. It's just, man, it, man they're, such, they're, such, they're such a rare, great athlete. They're such a great, such a rare. All right. More nervous before your first ring walk for your first professional fight or backstage before your first performance on Broadway? What, what, when were you more nervous? Well, that's a close one. They're probably even. Were you nervous before your first pro fight? Absolutely. I knew I was going to beat the guy, but I wanted to do it looking good. Right. Well, you don't show your nerves on stage, that's for sure. Um, Showbox. That's the art of a professional to hide your nerves. That's right. Cuss taught you well. Showbox is about prospects. We've seen some of your prospects tonight. What would you say if I had to ask you for one most important attribute that a prospect needs? What would you say it is? Man, um, the willingness to sacrifice everything to uh, dedicate his life to this and to make everything secondary. Yeah, um, just like um, in a relationship, you have to marry this. You have to be truthful to this. You have to be loyal to it. And you get the best out of it. So dedication. Absolutely. All right, last two. Favorite musician? Stevie Wonder. Favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? You can say Showbox, it's okay. All right, I'll say Showbox. <laughs> we appreciate it, Mike. And we look forward to seeing a couple of your, more fi your fighters uh, in the next two fights. I'm very grateful that sh um, Showbox gave me the opportunity to showcase my fighters. And, um, I hope I have the time, another opportunity to do it again. It was really wonderful. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Mike. Good to talk to you. We'll talk, throw it back to Barry. All right. Thanks very much, Steve. And we should point out uh, a lot of those questions were questions that uh, we asked you.